Hey guys, what's going on? My name is John and I'm a photographer and I go to Florida State University. Uh, a couple weeks ago I had this reel go viral, not really viral, but it got a few thousand views and it was all about how I shoot just content in my dorm room. So this isn't really gonna be a tutorial, but more of like a, let me show you guys what I do and maybe there's a couple things that you can get out of this video that you can use towards your content creation if you're kind of pressed on space. And if you're not pressed on space, well, lucky you. Um, hopefully this is still just kind of an entertaining video that I can kind of show you guys my process of doing YouTube content creator things. So I realized it's actually kind of important to like show you guys exactly what my room looks like, kind of what I'm working with, how big it is. Um, my roommate, Drew, isn't here right now. He's out studying for finals and stuff. So this is what the room looks like when you walk in. Drew's stuff is on this side, um, but this is my side right here. Uh, this is the window view that we have. Um, so we have a little courtyard down there. Um, and then over there, if you've ever seen my content, whenever I'm running, I run right over here. There's like a little lake. So that's basically what I'm working with. It's obviously a very small space. Right here is where I sit. I have a softbox right here with the hexagonal diffuser to kind of like focus the light. And so what I was just doing, that talking head, is just like that. And then I... Ooh. like here, and I zoomed in a little bit. Um, so that's kind of the space that I'm working with, and so what you just saw, that was kind of like shot number one. So I think the very first thing that very much I revolve all of my content around is this window right here. Recently, I've kind of been editing my videos um, in more of like a film style, and so whenever I shoot anything, whether it's my shorts or just full-length YouTube videos like this, I like to have some sort of bright light source in the back so then I can add some halation to it. And I actually did a video a couple of weeks ago on how I add artificial halation. You can find that in the cards or whatever if you wanna watch that after. But everything that I shoot in this dorm very much revolves around this, this window. Um, so like right now, this is my talking head shot. And I use this um, a lot of the times just for anything talking head or I use it when I'm filming different tutorials for my shorts because my desk is right here. I have my monitor right here. Um, and then I'm able to have this bright light source in the back. But since I'm shooting an S-log 10 bit, I'm able to get that dynamic range and I focus on exposing from my face and I'm fine blowing out the highlights because that's where I'm more just kind of getting a pleasing, halation, glow look that I think just kind of makes the whole image as a whole a little bit better. And so another shot that I really like to get a lot, and I mostly use this in shorts and stuff, is I use this like PGY Tech Mantis pod that you've probably seen on a ton of different creators' channels. Um, but it's like a good vlogging stick, but it also folds out into a tripod, and then there's this little hook thingy on the back that you can like hook along things. This is what I mean by the little hook. Um, so this can basically hook on to different things. Um, and so what I'll be doing right here is I hook it onto the back, and then it stays like this, and then I'm gonna put my camera on right here. That's so high. So this is another angle that I use specifically with shorts and then I used it a little bit for that halation video a couple weeks ago. Obviously it isn't like super comfortable to just kind of stand at the camera like head looking up. Um, but I think this is kind of just like a unique angle that I like to use because I don't know it's like it makes me look all short and mighty even though I'm not short. Six foot one. Six foot 0.5, so I round up to 6.1, because in shoes, no one can tell the difference. My friends flame me for it all the time, but I'm in fact over six foot. <laughs> this is a second angle that I kind of use for shorts, because again, using the window, getting that halation film look, um, and it's just kind of a unique perspective because I'm looking up and talking at the camera, but obviously this isn't something that I wanna do for a whole video because, oh, my neck hurts a little bit. So now let's go to the next angle. One of my big things is I wanna try to be able to film at a lot of different angles within the dorm. If you're in a small space, you can kind of shoot it in multiple different angles and it gives the illusion of appearing way bigger than the space actually is because you have so many different angles that you can shoot from in a literal like 150 foot square space. This is kind of the third and final, at least talking head angle that I use. Just kind of using the windows as again as a backlight source where I can edit it, add the filtration, make it look good, make your bed. If you're gonna take anything out of this whole video, people are gonna be seeing your bed. Don't have your sheets all tossed up. So I sit it on my bed. 
um, I have the, the softbox right here at more or less a 45 degree angle. The thing about the softbox is it's actually not tall enough. Um, it's kind of going at like a up angle, which probably isn't the most flattering, but you gotta make the best of what you have. Very much just an even talking headshot. If I wanna make it more personal, I widen it out. If I wanna give it a little more compression, you know, just shoulders and above like this. Um, I like to kind of go for a little bit of it in between. I can't quite see. Go for something like 20. There's like a ton of geese out here that are like squawk, squawk, squawking. The last thing that I've kind of learned through, especially like trying to like figure out how to like film in dorms over the past two years, is definitely utilizing the outdoors. I understand like things like vlogging and everything is kind of like tricky because like people are like walking past, like looking at you. Like even like right now, there's people walking past or like cars just kind of like sitting there watching me and it's a little awkward. But something I've started doing in the shorts campaign that I'm doing, and if you haven't seen those, I'm basically just posting a photo every day. And so what I've really started to do with that is going to just different locations around campus and everything and just filming short five to 10 second clips of me in those locations, just kind of unique angles. Um, so like top down angles or like wide angles with like Westcott right behind me. Um, and so I've really started to like utilize that because I think that's one of the things that differentiates specifically me, and it could be you too if you're a college student. Like your campus is something that very much differentiates you from everyone else who's gonna be making videos. So really like utilize that campus, like find somewhere that maybe there aren't a ton of people who are gonna be there. So no one's like really gonna be like staring at you at everything and like finding just kind of like this quiet area where you can like sit down and then just like film to the camera, like making these like talking head videos. So that's kind of the wrap up of the video. I feel like there's this whole stigma that you need to have, you know, an Aperture 300D and a ton of key lights and just all this fancy gear to like make your videos look good or you need to have this like whole dedicated studio room or anything. And I, yeah, sure, maybe it makes it easier because you don't have to set up and pull everything down whenever you finish a video, but there's plenty of things that you can do to make your content really stand out and look good in something as small as a dorm room. I think something I struggled with when I came down from home to FSU is I was like, I don't have the resources anymore. I don't have my own room. I don't have the things I want to film videos. And I think that really stopped me for a little bit from making videos. And it actually went on for a little while. It was a few months ago that I kind of was like, I don't have any excuses to make. I have a camera. I have a source of light, the sun. And what 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 else do I need to make videos? I had to call myself on it. I was like, I can't make videos in a dorm. Ugh, I have a roommate. Ugh. Doesn't mean anything. Like I'm getting dope videos. I'm getting followers. So I really do hope you kind of enjoyed this video. I know it probably wasn't like super informational in terms of learning things, but I hope it was at least entertaining and I hope you at least got some ideas on how maybe you can utilize your small space, whether it's studio apartment or a dorm or you know whatever situation you're in. And you just got some ideas on like, oh, maybe I can try this angle or oh, maybe I can you know, do X, Y, and Z. If you did enjoy the video though, I would very much appreciate like a subscribe or something. That would be awesome. Um, but I am John from 16 Views. See ya.